Disney's Encanto is finally in theaters, and holy cow did we love it. It was excellent. I want to start off right away by saying that if you haven't been able to see the movie yet, this video contains a ton of spoilers, starting literally right now. So if you aren't interested in hearing any before you have had the chance to see Encanto, now would be the perfect time to stop watching. But be sure to come back after you see the musical masterpiece. Alright, spoiler warning is out of the way, so let's get straight into it. So, as you know if you've seen the movie, in the end, though things were happy and looking up for the Madrigals, Mirabelle, our hero, still seemed to be lacking magic of any sort, which surprised most fans because this is usually not Disney protocol when it comes to endings. At least not magical happy endings, that is. It was particularly surprising because even though Mirabelle was the one who basically saved her family and their magic, she was still left without any herself. Or so it seemed, at least. All of her family got their powers restored, and Casita was built anew, and Mirabelle with no magic was still Mirabelle with no magic. On the brighter side of things, Bruno the Outcast was finally reunited with the family in the end, so that was nice. And even better was the fact that the Casita was rebuilt by not only the Madrigal family, but a lot of the town as well, with Mirabelle leading the way. It really was a nice ending for a great movie, but still, a lot of fans couldn't help but wonder why Mirabelle didn't get a gift of her own in the end. I mean, she certainly deserved one after all of that. She was literally the only reason her family got their powers back in the first place. But here's the thing, we actually think that Mirabelle did in fact get a gift and specifically powers for that matter. And no, we're not just talking about the gift of family or the power of friendship or anything like that. Although those are important and amazing things to have. No, we think Casita actually did bless her with an authentic capability that no one else in the family had. And you have to look at some of the hidden clues in the movie in order to understand what magic Mirabelle held throughout the movie. And if we are right, it would actually have something to do with the way that all of the Madrigals got their gift in the first place, specifically in the creation of the candle with a Abuela Alma and her husband Pedro. Now, when it comes to how the family members got their gifts in the first place, it is clear that the candle is the source of it all. From the magical house to their magical powers, it's all the candle. The candle sits on a ledge in Casita, the magical house, and hasn't gone out since its original creation when Abuela Alma was stranded with her three children. But the thing to take away from all of this is simple. Candle equals magic. Meaning if you are a part of the Madrigal family by blood, you end up receiving a gift or power of sorts when you come of age. Well, unless you are Abuela or Mirabelle, that is. But more on that in a second. What we really need to get clear on is how the candle was created or where it came from in this magical world. Stick with us on this one because in order to see Mirabelle's true superhuman abilities, we need to understand exactly how this candle was created in the first place. If you've seen the movie, you know that it first appeared in the opening sequence when Abuela Alma had just lost her husband, Pedro Madrigal, who sacrificed himself to save his wife, kids, and community. As she grieved for her loss through a prayer, the candle came to life. But other than that, the movie doesn't really tell us exactly how the candle came to life. Abuela simply calls it a miracle. Some theorize that the candle came from some sort of celestial being, maybe a god. But the more we explore the deeper concepts of this movie, we actually think that the candle came from Abuela Alma and Pedro themselves. Just look at the main concepts of the movie. Hope, unity, family, sticking together, dark times and being the light, or the hope during these dark times. All of these concepts seem to circle around in different ways throughout the movie, especially when it comes to this idea of magic and miracles. From our perspective, we think that the candle was created from Pedro's sacrifice and Abuela Alma's anguished prayer. Both were needed in order to create the miracle of the candle. Pedro provided the hope for Abuela, and Abuela provided the physical prayer for the candle. Together, they created the miracle for their family, represented by the candle itself. Seems like a stretch to you? Well, take a look at how the family starts to lose their magic and Mirabelle's role throughout the entire film. Obviously, Mirabelle did not receive a gift when she came of age and is somewhat neglected throughout the film for not having one. We also learn that Abuela has become somewhat dependent on these gifts and she fails to see anyone in her family pass the gifts that they possess. She puts a lot of pressure on each one of the family members to be their gift rather than themselves. Isabella feels like she has to be perfect all of the time, and Luisa feels overburdened with all of the work she has to do with her super strength. And it is through the family's dynamic breakdown that we see Casita start to crumble. We don't really know why Casita is falling apart at this point in the movie, only that it is. Darkness is starting to loom over the family, and everyone seems to start feeling hopeless because there seems to be no cause to this disintegration. Well, the next question we have is, what does Mirabelle seem to provide consistently throughout the entire film? Hope. 
even when she finds Bruno's vision of her being the cause of the family losing their magic. She's determined to find out the solution, even when Abuela dismisses her. Not only that, but Mirabel also provides the physical creation part as well, like Abuela's prayer, when she helped restore Casita with manual labor alongside the community and her family. It was only then that Casita came back to life. But how is this relevant to the candle's creation? Well, Pedro provided hope for his wife and community in the darkest time for them. His sacrifice was the reason that his wife and kids could live, and Abuela created the physical prayer out of despair. So the hope that Pedro was able to give back to Abuela, combined with her prayer, is ultimately what led to her entire life and situation flipping. It's what ultimately created the candle and gave it the power to create such a wonderful casita. Therefore, we think it's pretty safe to say that in order for someone to create magic of any sort, you need to have two important qualities. The first is the ability to feel hope or be hopeful. And the second is to take action in a positive direction, even when doubtful. Just like Abuela did with her prayer, these two qualities are the things that create magic. Because without Pedro's sacrifice, there really wouldn't be a Madrigal family to talk of. Maybe they would have escaped, but they likely wouldn't have had their magic. Just like if Mirabel and the town were to rebuild Casita without hope, it would likely just be a normal building. But Mirabel's hope was the reason Casita and the magic came back. Okay, if I say hope one more time, I may lose my mind. But this idea of this word, hope, is very important to understanding the creation behind this candle because it directly links to what Mirabelle's superpower really is. The movie would have us believe that Mirabelle remained giftless, even at the end of the film. Maybe she provided the hope for the family like Pedro did at the beginning, but she never really got any superpowers like the rest of her family did. Well, what if Mirabelle did end up getting superhuman abilities that we weren't able to see until darkness took over the family and their situation? See, we think that Casita blessed her with the embodiment of the candle, embodiment of the magic. Just like Casita was an extension of the candle, the candle was the extension of the magic. Mirabelle was simply another extension of the magic, but in the form of a human being that would be able to interact with her family to protect and protect preserve their gifts. Keep the flame alive, if you will. Notice how this idea of hope was something that Mirabelle tried to instill into her family as well, much as the candle did. Even for the estranged Bruno when she found him, she practically begged him to look past his bad vision. Looking past the bad vision of her, the family, and the house breaking down, to try to see something good, which ended up being her and Isabella hugging, and which is also in action in a positive direction, we might add. In almost every scene of the film, no matter what, it was like Mirabelle was looking on the bright side and trying to see the most positive outcome. She was also one of the only ones to start taking action in a positive direction, even when Abuela dismissed her at the beginning. Literally, the only time that her hope grew weak was when she and Abuela were arguing, which of course resulted in the casita crumbling and crashing down. This idea of Mirabelle being the embodiment of the candle also explains several loopholes and unanswered questions in the film. It explains the real interpretation behind Bruno's vision, because obviously, if Mirabelle, the candle, the magic, were to start to lose hope, casita would crumble since casita was dependent on the candle for its magic. And notice how casita did completely break down when Mirabelle felt utterly hopeless from her argument with Abuela. It also explains why Abuela never received powers either. Abuela was not the embodiment of the candle, simply the co-creator. And as you saw, she started to lose the gift that Pedro gave to her in the film. She started to lose hope as she desperately seemed to grasp onto the magic as if it were a life force. Essentially, Abuela was losing the hope from Pedro's sacrifice by looking at the wrong things. She wasn't inherently hopeful, just dependent on what her husband gave her. Mirabelle didn't have any dependence on a hopeful thing or action as a child. She was simply a positive and resilient kid, and Casita sensed this. It also covers a lot of loopholes around timelines, and when Mirabelle did receive this gift when she came of age. Around the time Mirabelle was to receive a gift was probably around the time Bruno started to be rejected by the family. Casita probably sensed this way earlier before the family started to, and realized something needed to be done to save the magic. Noticing the qualities Mirabelle possessed Casita then granted her the gift of embodiment, and she would have had no way of knowing this or showing it whatsoever. Instead, she would simply be sitting on the ledge doing seemingly nothing but really being everything that the family needed. There can be no light without darkness, so it wasn't until darkness fell upon the Madrigals that Mirabelle was able to shine. At the end of the day, we believe that Mirabelle did receive a full-blown gift. She herself was the gift. Without her, there would be no hope and no magic. No candle even, which, as we learned, was basically the biggest thing holding the family together. And this connection that she personally shared with the casita is why it would only crack and crumble when she faltered. The best thing about this theory is that it is heavily supported through symbolism throughout the film. For instance, take a look at what each of the members of the Madrigal family are wearing. Every single one of them has something on their clothes that has to do with the gift they were given. Luisa's skirt clearly has weights embroidered into it. Isabella is wearing a layered dress that gives off the same vibe as flower petals, and her necklace has an orchid on it, which happens to be the national flower of Colombia. 
Pepa's dress is covered in raindrops and her earrings are the sun. Then you have the shapeshifter Camilo, who has chameleons on his ruana. Bruno's ruana can be seen to have hourglasses on it. Nozi Dolores has sound waves on her dress, and Julieta's dress is full of herbs. All of them directly coincide with the powers that they have. And what about Mirabelle? Mirabelle has butterflies all over her clothes. And what do butterflies symbolize? Hope and transformation. What did the candle provide and embody for the family? Transformation from a horrible situation into a blessing from the hope originally given by Pedro. Just like Mirabelle gave throughout the film and further proving this embodiment theory. And just to prove it even further, there was a butterfly on the candle itself. Symbolism is literally everywhere. The final thing to look at if you aren't convinced by now is the movie posters that they used to promote the film. Each family member had their own poster, and out of all of the posters, there were only two of them that didn't feature yellow butterflies. And those two belonged to Bruno and Mirabel. Bruno likely didn't have any butterflies because, sadly, he was never one to offer up much hope. Not that it was his fault, he's not the villain of the story or even a bad person. He just didn't know how to interpret his images in a positive light, or push past the bad ones like Mirabel had. Meanwhile, Mirabel didn't have butterflies on her poster simply because, to the Madrigal family, she was the butterfly. She was the flame on the camera that lit the way for all of them to have hope. She not only saved her family and their powers, but she brought them all together. And together, they all rebuilt their home and saved the magic. So when all was said and done, Mirabelle actually had more powers than anyone in the family, simply because she was the source. She was the flame that fueled their powers. She was the magic. While Abuela only had half of the power to create the candle and needed help from Pedro, who gave her the rest of what she needed to make it, Mirabelle had it all in one package. And as we saw over time, Abuela began to lose that hope that Pedro gave her. She was so set on wanting her family to be perfect instead of doing what Pedro did and loving unconditionally. And the Casita saw this and acted accordingly. In Mirabel, Casita saw a fountain of the necessary qualities of magic, a source full of hope and the ideals to create. She had everything that Abuela had begun to lack and was granted the candle's gift onto her. So in the end, it seems pretty clear that, at least in the movie Encanto, magic is fueled by hope, hope and any action in a positive direction, with hope being the source of all creation and transformation and further embodied by Mirabel. That about sums it up. Please let us know what you thought of this theory in the comments. And as for now, that's all Disney fans. Let us know what video you'd like to see next in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more magically packed videos.